Oprah. Hey, hey. Adam. Hey. We're here. I know. Finally. Finally it happened. We are behind the scenes on this. By the way, this is a gorgeous stage here in Atlanta. My team's been working on this for quite some time. We've been thinking about it. You know, when I was a little girl, I had this dream of myself being on a stage like this and speaking to an audience. I didn't know what I was talking about when I was right. having the dream. But this has always been something that I thought would, you know, would happen some time in my life. And now it has. And this was actually on your bucket list idea. This was a bucket list for me because, you know, all those years at the Oprah show, the shows that excited me the most were shows where I was talking to people about things that I knew could make a difference in their lives. For, for me, and the message of my life is leaving people with something that can help them make their lives better. What is the single most important lesson you want people to take away with from this tour? The single most important lesson is a lesson I learned when I was eight years old when I first learned the poem Invictus. Do you remember that poem? Yes. By William Ernest Henley. I know the whole poem, I won't do it for you. But the last line of that poem is... Please do it. Okay, <laughs> no, not do it. But the last line of that poem is, you, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. So that's the lesson I want people to get, is that it doesn't matter where you come from, what your mother did or didn't do, what you had or didn't have. Bottom line is, you are in the driver's seat of your own life. You are the master of your fate, and you have only you to, to hold responsible for what happens in your life. That's it. So the tour is called The Life You Want. Yeah. Are and you the, leading The Life You Want? The tour is called <laughs> The Life You Want because it's the life I want. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the life I want. You know, what I realized when I was putting this all together, there's some, there's, I got some slices missing in my own life. And perhaps by the time I finish this tour, uh, by the time we do the eighth city, maybe I will be closer to living the life that I want. I'm closer to it now than I was 10 years ago, than I was five years ago, mm -hmm. or even three years ago, but I'm not there yet. Well, is there anything that you want to do? Something outrageous? Yes, yes, yes. What? You know what it is. This was on my bucket list, the thing I most wanted oh, to do. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to fulfill the dream I've always had. And you invited me to go Truffle oh, hunting! Truffle hunting, truffle yes! Truffle hunting! Come on! You go out with the dogs now, not the pigs. I know. Yeah. The I question know. is, do they allow you to bring the truffles back? That's the question. You just finished a film yeah. with your friend Brad Pitt, Selma. It's going to be, I think, a remarkable film with David O. Yellowo, who play, who I slapped in The Butler, who now steps up to the role of Martin Luther King. It's, it's, it's really good.